Good morning, y'all. It is Friday morning. It is like 8 a.m. or something, 8.30. And I'm in a jacket because it is 50 degrees outside. Like, what the heck? I live in Austin, Texas. It is October. What's the date, babe? 11th. October 11th, and it is 50 degrees. I feel like that's unheard of. <clears throat> um, it rained like last night to this morning, so I think it's just like a cold front. It's definitely gonna go back up. But I really wish it could stay like this. Or like maybe not 50 because we weren't really in the fall time yet. But we're slowly getting there. So I'm gonna experience my first 50 degrees in Austin outside right now. Let's do it. I'm actually kind of scared. I feel like I haven't felt 50 degrees in so long just because I went to college in Orlando and 50 degrees didn't happen there either. But oh. Yeah, this is actually really freaking cold, holy crap. I feel like I need something like more than this. I'm like in a tank top because I'm about to go to Orange Theory and it's actually freaking cold. This is crazy. I can wear sweaters, but I feel like I got rid of like all of them because like I feel like you didn't need sweaters here. We're matching even though I didn't go to Georgia, but <laughs> this is Ryan's sweatshirt. Where are jacket? Do you want your to work today? I feel like, are you cold right now? Because I'm cold in this. No. I feel like he's always like so warm, but I'm not. Oh yeah, show off your new shoes. Not paid sponsorship, but <laughs> you always say that. The goat app. The goat. He's like the 1.0s. Oh. Kind of hard to find, but I got him for 110 bucks. Usually they're 180. Uh huh. All right. Poor boy thought this this was red, and I had to tell him it was hot pink. <laughs> I mean, they're cute. I don't think they're like weird, even though they're hot pink. I like that ultra sign. I thought it was like red. It was yeah, like it's definitely cool. hot pink. <laughs> Colorblind probs. Oh, and last night we gave Ryan a haircut because he bought like clippers. <laughs> and we gave Sophie a haircut, and Daddy made her look oh, really oh, ugly. <laughs> Swaddle her. <laughs> Ow. Hashtag fall. Mornings with the fam. <laughs> oh my god, she really is. <laughs> so today is at Mount Everest at Orange Theory. Actually, I'm gonna go inside because it's freaking cold. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, Mount Everest. Basically, it's like this like themed day kind of thing that you do a lot of like inclines and like really high inclines, like at 15%. And I honestly just wish I didn't know it was coming. That way I could just go and just be surprised and like I couldn't get out of it kind of a thing. But they told us like on Monday that it was coming on this Friday and I was like, damn it, Fridays are my day to go, so I have to go. Ugh, not looking forward to that. But what I am looking forward to is getting this class over with, coming home, washing my hair, and then getting some pampering done. I did some freelance work and I was like, this is gonna pay for my nails. So <laughs> I got that done real quick because I was like, I don't know when I get want to get my nails done. But I think today is like a really good day. I mean, they really don't look that bad because they're like my nail color, but my nails are so long. I don't know if I want to trim them. I feel like I don't, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might even get the same color, but I definitely want to try out another nail salon because... I don't know. Sometimes just going to the nail salon annoys the shit out of me, to be honest. <laughs> and then I have to get my like sideburns like threaded, TMI, but yeah, I do that. Harry Indian here. It is Friday, so Ryan usually comes home at like three, which kind of sucks, but it's also really great because I feel like Friday I get the most motivation to like work, but then he comes home early and then I'm like, dang it, like <laughs> now I'm distracted pretty much. But then it's also great because we can go to like all these amazing happy hours here in Austin. So I really want sushi for dinner and we might go to Barchi, which we've been to already, but I was also thinking of looking up Lucky Robot's happy hour because apparently that's really good too. So we might do that, um, but like literally what the frick do I wear in 50 degree weather? Like I don't have sweaters. I'm gonna have to like layer, I think. This is just gonna be weird. In this vlog, I really want to share with y'all some of my favorite products that I've been using or just even testing out. I get sent some PR mail, so sometimes I like to just like work in like 
a couple of products out of a package into my like skincare routine or makeup routine. So I want to share some of the ones that I've been testing out recently with you guys um, because I feel like I haven't talked about products in a really long time and that's something I really like to do. Even though I don't really do solely makeup videos, I still, you know, want to tell you guys what my favorite products are and I feel like favorites videos just don't do very well. So hopefully I can share with y'all all of the products. I got one right here. Actually, I used it this morning. Um, before Orange Theory, I just like wash my face with water because I don't want to put any lotion and sweat the lotion and feel weird, you know? My face is a little bit dry, but I get over it. Um, but I do need chapstick. Like, I need chapstick. So I've been using the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in this little bottle, and I'm kind of pissed because I had the Lip Glowy Balm, and I put it in like my pants when I was doing like an event for photography and I think it fell out. I'm really pissed and I actually walked by Sephora and I like looked at it. And I was like, I should probably buy it again because it was really great. And then I was like talking myself out of it because it's not like super cheap. It's not like $3. It's probably like 12 or something. It was like, okay, $12 for a chopstick. Mm, no, I'm going to pass. But now I'm like, damn it. It was so good. Like I'm definitely going to go get it. Maybe this weekend if we go past to mall or something like that but obviously this is the og it's still good it's just a little bit thicker um and obviously you have to like dig your nail and my nails are long and it just i don't know it just like doesn't work out for me i've been talking for a while so i'm gonna go to orange theory wish me luck that i don't freeze out there y'all in new york and like all the upper states are probably like shut the hell up like you don't know what cold is and i you're right i don't know what cold is i don't know what this cold is it's like so weird i will say one more thing i feel like austin is like super super hot and then it's probably gonna get more cold than orlando got so i don't know i feel like i'm gonna have like more extremes than i was prepared for <laughs> I'm done with Orange Theory for the week. It feels so good and honestly like it wasn't that bad. I don't know why I was dreading it for like the whole week <laughs> but I'm, I guess like just the thought of like a themed day it just sounds way harder than a normal day. It was honestly so weird coming out and it being cold like I didn't even have to put on my jacket because I was just cooling down from after my workout which was nice and I burned 600 calories which made me feel so good about myself I'll put my stats right here um, if you guys are like interested in like the orange theory stats pretty much like splat points which I got like 30 or so of those that means you are either in the orange or red for like a whole minute you're supposed to get a perfect pyramid so like if you're really good at orange theory apparently you're supposed to like get a lot in the green and then like orange you're supposed to get like you know medium and then red like not that much because like when you work out more your heart rate doesn't go up as like easy as it would if you didn't work out pretty much if that makes sense um i'm sorry i'm probably really bad at explaining it but you can watch other orange theory videos and um, they'll probably explain it a lot better than me. I just parked at the brow place that I usually go to. I actually stopped getting my eyebrows done because I want to grow them out and they're just not growing. So um, I'm not going to get my brows done. I am going to get my sideburns done and maybe like my cheek, but I don't know if it needs it, but my sideburns definitely need it. Then I'm going to go home and take a shower and maybe eat something or maybe I'll wait till noon because I actually have leftover Chipotle. I like barely ate anything for dinner last night, so I didn't even finish like half of it. So that sounds really good. I just got my sideburns threaded and they feel so smooth, but I was kind of worried that like since I just worked out, I would get acne because my skin's not like clean, you know? So hopefully I don't. <laughs> um, but I wanted to share with y'all what I'm gonna be using in the shower. Um, just like some shower products I've been using lately. As I said, like I do switch it up. So um, Briogeo sent me a bunch of stuff recently and I've been using this charcoal shampoo and I actually <laughs> finished a whole bottle of it or a little jar of it, but they actually sent me another one. But sometimes I do like to mix the Briogeo and my Redken All Soft. That's the shampoo and conditioner I've been literally using since like middle school, I swear. Um, my mom just always bought Redken All Soft. Now I'm trying out this one. Oh, 
this Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisturizing Deep Conditioning Mask. And honestly, this is perfect because I'm running out of the Redken All Soft Conditioner. You put this in your hair and like let it soak in for five to 10 minutes. I kind of just switch back and forth, but um, I really do like that Briogeo Charcoal Shampoo. It's like very invigorating. And for someone who has had really, really bad dandruff and sometimes even gets it like, you know, ever so often you, that is like the perfect product and I feel so clean and just like my head doesn't itch afterwards so just so you guys can see it this is the Redken All Soft conditioner and shampoo and then my favorite body wash this is gonna sound like really weird but this is my favorite body wash it smells so good I literally get excited to take showers just to use this, um, it is the Dove Purely Pampering Sweet Cream with Peony Body Wash. So get that set, go to like Target or Walmart or wherever, and at least smell this scent because it is so yummy smelling. I'll talk to you guys after I shower. I'm getting a little hungry. I do try to do intermittent fasting as long as I can. Um, sometimes I don't. But, you know, I try to wait till noon to eat and I definitely do a fast workout because if I eat before I work out, I literally feel like I'm about to vomit. And honestly, sometimes even if I drink water during my workout, I still feel like a little like acid. Come on, okay, TMI. Well, like still, I don't know. I cannot eat before I work out. So that is why I have to work out in the morning. Otherwise, it just doesn't happen. Then I can't, I can't work out. All right, so I just got out of the shower. The first thing I'm gonna be using is the Glossier Super Glow Vitamin C Magnesium Serum. And this is perfect that they sent this to me because I'm literally looking for a new moisturizer as I ran out of my Sunday Riley um, facial oil, which uh, they say to put a moisturizer on after this, but sometimes I feel like my face doesn't really need it. So I don't know, I'm just gonna put this on and if it does need it, then I'll put it moisturizer on afterwards but I'm just gonna put this all over my face I'm so excited because um, Glossier reached out to me and told me that they're coming to Austin they're having like a pop-up shop in Austin and I'm just so excited because it, first of all it's like Instagram ball always and second of all I have never seen their products in person and to be honest this is like all my first um, products from Glossier they sent me like um, like a lip, an eye pencil, this, and sunscreen. Um, so those are like my first products from them. But I'm very excited to see it all like in the store and like try it out because sometimes it's really hard to buy, especially like makeup products online because you just never know like what they feel like and what they like look like and stuff like that. So I'm really excited for them to come. They said they were coming like late fall, so hopefully that means soon. So I decided to just do my makeup and get it over with. So I'm gonna start by using this brow pencil. It's the LA Girl Shady, Shady Slim Pencil. I don't know, it's like worn off. I just feel like this one is a bit creamier than the Anastasia brow pencil. Next is foundation, but I need a little bit of oil on my face, so I'm just gonna dab some because my face is super freaking dry and I think I might have to use my dryer foundation because it's my lighter color. <laughs> um, I'm getting a little pale. I'm kind of sad I got this one. I should have just stuck to the other one, the one that I liked, but I was just like, oh, let's try something new. Um, so this is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I like the NARS, the, it's something like sheer, sheer something. I really like that one because I feel like it's not as dry as this one. Um, so we're going to see if it is my color. Yep. Perfect match. I really, really love the L'Oreal Pro Glow, but if I was to get another high-end foundation, I would definitely do. Oh, it's called the NAR Sheer Glow. That's what it's called. Also, for anyone who wants to try out like the L'Oreal Pro Glow and is scared to, I'm pretty sure CVS, you can return makeup if you like opened it. Um, Obviously, I wouldn't recommend if you like use half of it because I don't think they'll take it back. I've definitely done that when a product is like just not my color because you can't really test products out in CBS like you can't Ulta. So definitely recommend just trying it out. 
I am going to skip a couple steps just because I feel like it's the normal, usual makeup products, but I will hop back on here once I have something to share with y'all. Okay, so the next product I want to share with you guys is probably the most exciting, but I feel like I've showed it to y'all recently. I'm not sure, but this is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour Contour and Bronzer Cream in Tan. That's the color, tan. They don't have like that big of a shade range, but it works because you can just blend it in and you know, it works. You can do this before you set your face or I personally like to do it after because I'm just scared of like my foundation just moving with the bronzer because this is like a cream, but it kind of turns into a powder once you blend it out. Love that it actually like defines me because sometimes powders just do not do it for me. Like it just doesn't show as well as a cream contour would and I feel like like the sticks and all like the actual concealer type things they just take too long to blend out but like see that's pretty much already blended out and it looks perfect that took what five seconds ten seconds it's insane so I really 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 recommend this product out of everything watch me find like another favorite that I'm like okay no but this product <laughs> It just looks so natural and I feel like this color is like the best color for my skin. It makes me so happy. So I just finished my makeup and I think it turned out really well. It looks very fresh, especially like after I shower, it always looks very like super fresh. I love that. Um, but I know I didn't do a full makeup routine, but if you want to see an updated makeup routine, I don't know how long it's been, comment down below because I want to know if y'all actually want to see it because I feel like my makeup videos do not do well and that's why I've like stopped making them. But it is Chipotle time. Good news, I just found a whole storage Ziploc bag with a bunch of my sweaters. I don't really have any jackets though. This jacket's Ryan's and it fits me pretty perfect, especially for like layering, but I definitely need a nicer jacket. So I'm gonna have to invest in that soon. I literally look crazy right now because I have you know, all these layers on top and then my feet are all out to play because I'm about to get my nails done and I actually just called literally like 10 places and you know, I have to get like the best price for them just because I'm not about to spend $50 just on my nails. Like some people do it, but I just don't want to spend that much. So I found a place that would do like 35 for my nails and then like 20 for my toes, which is like pretty good. I think that's like really affordable. So I'm going to go there. Hopefully it turns out good. Um, they don't have OPI colors, which is definitely a question I ask all the time. I really just like OPI colors and I feel like it's easier for me to choose because I know what colors look good with my skin, if that makes sense. So hopefully they have good colors. Hopefully I find my color at that salon so I can keep going back and it'll be cheap. <laughs> But um, the last time I got my nails done, I have dip on my nails right now, if you can see it. And the top layer like came off within maybe even a week. So it was just kind of annoying because it didn't look very nice. Like normally the dip just grows out and like that's like the only problem I have with dip. They just grow out, but like that's inevitable. But this time the top layer of the nail polish came off and it was just bothering me because obviously my orange makeup gets into it anyways okay tmi i'm gonna go to the nail salon hopefully i have my airpods hopefully i can find my airpods and maybe i'll listen to a podcast because i have been listening to the morning toast lately for the past two months one month i don't know i'm still learning all the lingo and i wish they had like a morning toast lingo spreadsheet just so I could like learn it really fast because some of the things that they say I'm just like I don't even I still don't even know what that means and I've been listening to it for like a month now so I feel like I should know what it means if any of you guys are toasters comment down below because maybe I can ask y'all what certain words mean <laughs> Just got out of the nail salon. It's currently 3 and I think I got there at like 1.30 which isn't horrible. I feel like I've been there for way longer in the past but they look so freaking good. Like I don't love the color I chose because you know sometimes like when they have it painted on those like fake nails it looks 100% different than what is in like the jar and that happened to me today and I feel like this happens all the time but it was like a white color 
and then I could tell it was like so pink so I asked like to see the colors again she was like oh it's gonna fade like it's just gonna get whiter like in a few days I'm like what but I just went with it because I was like okay it couldn't be that bad and I've definitely had worse pinks but I don't know you can't really tell on camera it definitely looks like very nice on camera but it's a little pink in person but the shape and the length oh my god I'm obsessed I just wish I picked like a different color but my toenails look good which is great also this was probably the most affordable place that I called around so overall pretty happy with it um I wonder if Ryan's home because it's three and I feel like he comes home really really early on Fridays so I'm gonna track him really quick and see what's up Ryan is home he got home at like what 3 30 or something uh, roughly 3:40. yeah so four but we are gonna go to Barchi, get some sushi. Ryan thinks I'm being dramatic, but like, what is he wearing? He's like the exact opposite of me. He just is dressing like he's fall. Yeah, it's fall, <laughs> it's like 57. It is not fall, that is winter. Outside? You look cute though, yes. And I look like a damn potato. She just did this for the vlog. She's gonna take this off afterwards. Babe, no, it is freezing outside. Plus my hair is still wet from my shower this morning. So I think that's, Maybe why I'm so cold. So we are in Bar Chi. We're gonna eat sushi and we just ordered it and I'm so excited. I got a sake bomb. It's hot and cold. What? It's like hot sake and cold beer around it. <laughs> Guys, I've been craving sushi so much. It looks so good. So we just got out of dinner. It was so yummy. We usually go to this one really, really cheap place, so I thought it was better than that. We have an hour left on our parking, so we're gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna put my purse down, which means my camera, but I'll probably try to take some vlog clips from my iPhone. So we're in Urban Outfitters, and I've always heard that like the best vintage cheese come from here. So, they actually have a whole rack for us right here. You have $50 to spend on a t-shirt. Yeah, I mean, it's $40, but one of these things I'm gonna splurge, and I feel like this is really, like, cool and different. I don't know, it's, like, really soft, though. And, like, like large. Like a band that you knew, or Budweiser or something? I don't know how many bands, babe. But I like the t-shirts. One of these days, gonna buy one. Loki looks good. <laughs> what? Hey, Loki looks good. Come watch me. Guys, they have like a sale going on right now. And I look, you want this dress so bad. Well, they have it in black, which I'll probably wear more. And, I don't know, good price. So this is the dress. It's gonna be $18, but I'm justifying it because I can wear it to weddings when I shoot. When I photograph weddings, yeah. <laughs> so they had a lot of t-shirts on sale and I'm kind of tempted to get them because they're so soft and they're probably like boys t-shirts I'm pretty sure but yeah because they're like longer but I like them so I think I'm gonna get a couple I got these two too so we just got done walking around downtown a little we're now we're in our favorite park mm -hmm. still don't really know what this place is called <laughs> yeah, but it has like the most pretty view of downtown, the river, the all Central these Park boats. <laughs> all these boats passing by, it's the coolest thing ever. And I haven't vlogged it yet, so today's the day. This is the view of the park. There's the bridge right over the water, and it's such a pretty view, all these buildings. Um, everyone's at ACL right now, so that's why no one's really here. But usually this place is pop in. <laughs> Yeah, I can kind of hear it actually. Is it that close? I really thought it was farther. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's boats over there, but then there's a gazebo. I told Tamali we'd get on this river cruise one day, but I think it's too cold today. Yeah. Are there any fishy? Oh my God, it's like so mossy. Oh my God, there are fish. How cute. We have our first boat passing by. Whoever's talking is talking so loud. <laughs> I can hear from the, here. We are back home and we are about to have a movie night. I got a red box. But before I close out this vlog, I just want to show you guys one more product. And that is just like my face wash. And actually, well, first I start off with a face wipe. And these are the daily facials from Olay. 
you come in like these well they don't usually come in this but this is like the refillable thing um these are really great because it kind of forces me to actually wash my face because you have to get these wet and so it's kind of like a cloth that is disposable um sometimes i feel like just makeup wipes do not take off all the makeup so i do go in with this new cleanser that i got it's the ren clean skin care clarifying clay cleanser so this is what i use after i do the wipe situation free and I can enjoy a movie night. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and I'll have all the products I talked about in today's video in the description below so go check those products out if you're interested in any of them. If you guys have any video recommendations or video ideas for me, um, any vlog or anything that you want to see for me, please comment them down below um, and I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye!